Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone of GMS that taught us this truth. And Barakatham to all the elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. This the brother Anapa Ayash of the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Today's scripture is going to be dealing with 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. As you can hear in the background, I stay next door to a harlot house, aka the church. And you can hear, I'm, I'm sure you brothers can hear in the background this madman preaching, ranting and raving in the background, hollering and screaming, preaching nothing. See what I'm saying? Preaching to people a bunch of lies and bullshit. That's why. How about Shimei Shia sent his men out there on the highways and byways to break down the laws, I mean break down the lies and, and unveil the, the blindfold to be taken off the people's eyes that, that's hearing these lies from the synagogue of Satan, known as these churches. You see what I'm saying? So like I said, we're gonna deal with 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. And it's beautiful that, that the Lord got this nigga over here ranting and raving to go with the scripture. Uh, 1 Kings 18 and 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, you know, Elijah was a man of the Lord, a, a prophet sent out there to the house of Yahweh by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And said, Elijah came unto all the people and said, now, who is all the people talking to the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans? And he said, How long halt ye between two opinions? How long you people are going to sit there and keep deciding who you going to follow? Well, why are you steady battling in your mind who you going to follow? And it says, If the Lord be God, follow him. If you're going to follow you, how about Shimei was shot, then follow him. And he said, but if by all, meaning if you're going to follow Satan, then follow him. You see what I'm saying? So if you say you love the Lord, then guess what? You need to follow him with your whole mind, body, and soul wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? With all your mind. There should be no wavering back and forth. Well, I love the Lord, but I still want to do wickedly. You see what I'm saying? Or I'm tired of living in sin. But I want to follow the Lord, but it just feels good sleeping with another man's woman. There's no strings attached. You see what I'm saying? But you actually choose a Satan over the Lord. That's why Elijah said, if you're going to choose the Lord, then follow the Lord. But if you're going to follow Satan, then follow him. Quit playing with the Lord. And it says, and the people answered him, not a word. Why they didn't answer a word? Because they still confused in their mind. See, a lot of these Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans don't want to be held accountable for their sins. See what I'm saying? They're not responsible. They're irresponsible. They have their priorities in the wrong place. You say you love the Lord, but yet you still want to get high. You still want to try and call yourself a pimp. You still want to game bang, but you say that you're the spiritual man that you love the Lord. Well, if you love the Lord, then follow the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Throw the ways of the world to the side, but you can't. Why? Because your mind and heart is too indulged in this American society as this philosophy of do as I will, meaning do what you want to do. The church lied to you and tell you, there's always time for forgiveness. Yeah, we do have grace, but the scriptures also tell you not to take the Lord's name in vain. Meaning what? If you sin, ask for forgiveness. Not sit there and say, well, I'll come, I'll come to the Lord tomorrow or I'll wait till next week when I fully get the sin out of my system. No, it may be too late. You know what I'm saying? There's no guarantee for us to, to continue living our lives every day. There's no guarantee. Yeah, how about Shimmy? I was trying to say to himself, he's going to come like a thief in the night. Meaning what? You never know when to expect him. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's best for you to stay on your ten toes and serve your how about Shimmy Shai 
to the best of your ability wholeheartedly day in and day out because you never know when he may return. He may return now. He may return 10 minutes from now. He may return tomorrow. He may return next week. You never know. Prophecies are taking place every day, man. You see what I'm saying? Reading down the verse 22, it said, Then said Elijah, representing all the brothers out there on the highways and byways, that teaching this word. Coming to you, Israelites, telling y'all to turn y'all life around. Quit sinning, quit BSing, and come back to the Heavenly Father before he come and destroy this place. See what I'm saying? So, so while we are in the highways and byways, we represent Elijah also. And hey, those that can receive it, Elijah's back here again today. We don't know who he is, but he's out there in the highways and byways spreading the same message. Verse 22, it said, Then Elijah, then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. Meaning he's out there by himself. Still serving you, how about Shimei was shot to the best of his ability. Not wavering. It, it is not taking him a long time to uh, pick which side or battling of the mind between the two sides he, he want to go. It says, but by our prophets are 450 men. That's right. Satan's prophets, Satan's soldiers outnumber the men of the Lord. That's why Elijah said, I only remain a prophet of the Lord, meaning he's out there fighting his battle by himself. And all Satan's soldiers outnumber him. But guess what? He's still fighting a good fight of faith. Just like when you brothers out there on the highways and byways teaching his word, you're automatically outnumbered with by our uh, uh, prophets, by our soldiers. You know, so you know what I'm saying? They always outnumber us out there on the highways and byways. But that's why we, we stand out there stiffly for the name of who? Yeah, how about she me? I was shot. Because no matter how many of Baals or AKA Satan soldiers come out there against us, as long as we got you, how about she me? I was shot. Who could do anything to us? Like the scripture said, if the most high be for us, who could be against us? You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture always say, the Lord he'll fight for thee. So when we out there in the highways and byways, you how about Shimei our is also out there fighting for us. That's why no matter how many of Satan's soldiers come up against you, even though they outnumber you, they can't out. They, they don't have more power than you. You know what I'm saying? They can't make you move. Why? Because you're rooted and grounded through the spirit of your by Shimei was shot. They can't overpower you. Why? Because you're flowing through the spirit and power and might of who? Your by Shimei was shot. See what I'm saying? That's why it's important to follow the Lord wholeheartedly without playing any games with the Lord, man. See what I'm saying? So you people out there, call yourself following the Lord, will follow the Lord wholeheartedly. Obey his law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability. And if you do sin, ask for forgiveness right then and there. Don't follow Satan's army or you're going to be on, on the losing team. Because pretty soon, you how about Shimei Rashad? It's finna come and destroy this place. So you want to be on the winning team. And that's on your how about Shimei Rashad side. So you, people out there, you better get your mind right, your mind right before you get destroyed. And with that, hey, all praise is glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yeah, how about Shimei Rasha? Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom Wong. And much love, peace, and blessing to your elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth out of sincerity and love for the elect for the elect of the nation of Israel. With that, hey. Quam Yasha Allah, Shalom.